Hey, what's going on guys? So for this video, I'm going to be starting a new series in which we together will create a platformer. So for this idea, I'm going to try and keep things quite open. We have an end goal that we will create a platformer game. We will have things like a character, health system, attack, damage, boss fight, UI. We'll have all the things you need and you will learn all the skills needed to make a platformer. But I'm going to try and keep it open. And if you have any ideas or suggestions along the way, I'll be sure to add them. So let's just get to it and uh, I hope you enjoy. All right, guys. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to head over to new project. And so I'm just going to call this platformer. You can call it whatever you like. We'll keep the preset the same. And for the viewport, I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080. We can keep everything else the same and just click create. So if you're new to construct on the right, you have your project panel. This is just going to be where everything it's kind of stored all your assets, files, your layouts, and your event sheets. So layouts, they will be your levels or your different pages in the game. So you could have different levels, UI pages, uh, kill screens, anything like that. That's where they go. Your event sheet, they're sort of the coding of this, this engine. The event sheet's really great because as you can see here with the example, we can use these blueprints and it makes it really easy to bring this game together without any coding or anything like that. So it's great if you're a beginner. On top of that, so we have the layers panel down here. That's quite self-explanatory. You know, we'll be using that for the different character, the environment, things like that. So we'll call this level one, this layout here. And for the size, again, I want to put the uh, 1920 by 1080. I'm just going to double check and make sure what can be used in the free version. So it is, it's two layers that you should have access to and 25 events. So we'll add another layer. We'll call this one main. Just if, if, if we only got two layers, we'll just do a main layer and then we'll call this one background. So we can just have a background layer and a main layer and that's where we'll have everything else. Okay, so for the tile set, we're going to head over to here and for the grid size, let's set that to 128 by 128. If you want to focus more on pixel art, you could still follow this along just fine. It's just the main difference is, the, is about the scale. So the grid size, right? So if you're using pixel art, you, you don't really want to go no more than 64 by 64. Maybe even go to 32 by 30, 32. Everything else is, will be the same. It's just scalability, right? So it's just how big the file sizes are of your tile set and character. Okay, so for this series, I'm going to be using the free assets I've created in previous videos, um, such as a tile set and a character pack. So I've put a link in the description and I'll put a link up in the, in the top corner as well if you would prefer to create your own assets. For this, I'm going to use the ones I've already created, and to access these, if you want, uh, head over to shanelee.art, the link's in the description. We're going to head over to the store, and as you can see, we have a video game character pack, and we also have a tile set pack. Um, so, what I'm going to do is, we'll download the character pack and the tile set pack, and they will be what we're using in this project. Alright guys, so once you've got those extracted and ready to use, what we can do is, we can right-click on the front page, we can insert a new object and we can just search tile map, double click that and once you click on the page, we now have a demonstration image. What we want to do is we want to replace this, we want to click this here, clear image and we can just select load image from file. Then what we will do is we will head over to game asset pack, tile set and just select this. As you can see, we've now got the tile set. We can now close this down. And as you can see, the tile set is now also available in this map. So what we can also do is if you select here at the bottom, right, tile map, and we just drag this out a little bit. I'm going to scale this down and you can now see the tile set. Now, what we also need to do is we need to head over down here to the bottom left and we are just going up. So make sure it's selected and once again we're going to do 128 by 128 and then what we can do is we can just make sure so as we can see these now align perfectly and just as a test so as you can see look if, if we if we select the pencil tool and select one if you then click and drag over the page we are now painting tiles i'll clear this for now what we will do is just drag out a simple floor for now for the demonstration 
like this. I'm also going to hide the grid at the moment. We don't need to see that just yet. Alright guys, so that's it for this episode. We've got the project set up ready to go. We've got the environment, all the dimensions are set. And yeah, so in the next episode we'll be going through adding the character creation and things like that. So take care guys and I'll see you in the next one.